welcome back. My name is Dan and this is my channel. I like making everyday tech easy. I worked at Apple for 19 years and now I am in full-time ministry. Listen, today's short video is going to be all about focus mode. Have you ever tried to work on something but your phone or your laptop or your iPad is constantly beeping and, and chirping and you're getting a bunch of notifications and, and all it takes is that one text message that you tap and then before you know it, you're scrolling to Doom Nation, right? And time and time is passing by and you got nothing done. Well, believe it or not, your iPhone, your Apple Watch, your Mac, your iPad, your, your entire Apple ecosystem has something built in called focus mode and that's going to be the intent of this video today. I want to show you what it's all about and I'm going to take you step by step on how to set up. I'm not going to go crazy uh, into the weeds because you can get really deep within focus mode. We'll probably say that for a later video um, but I'm going to show you how to basically understand what it is and show you how to set one up. So before I do that, let me show you something. Here is the press release from June 7th 2021 yes 2021 ios 15 brings new ways to stay connected and powerful features that help users focus explore and do more with on device intelligence believe it or not this focus mode has been enabled since 2021 and these are some of the screen grabs that are on apple's website how Focus mode came to be. Now, here is the thing. You probably remember when do not disturb, the do not disturb feature came out. That was like revolutionary, right? You can just kind of swipe down and tap on do not disturb and then bada beam, bada boom, your phone uh, didn't bother you as much as before. Now, do not disturb is definitely considered a focus mode and that's at a very simplistic manner. It, it stops notifications. It kind of puts everything at ease, uh, phone calls, uh, emails, social media alerts, anything. Now, Apple was smart enough to give you um, access where you could allow certain notifications to kind of pierce through, right? You're, you wouldn't miss that important phone call from your husband or from your wife or from your child, the loved one, etc. Or you wouldn't miss that important email from your boss or that that perspective, uh, that, pro that, that customer uh, that you were just waiting for. Now, do not disturb was awesome and believe it or not when i was back at apple we used to get a, a website where we can submit ideas now i this obviously did not happen I, I like to think so in my imaginary world i remember submitting an idea that said it would be awesome if when i put my iphone on disturb um, my ipad would also go on do not disturb and my mac would also go on do not disturb because originally do not disturb would not sync across our devices of course, Apple heard my idea and then later on developed focus mode, which took it and kind of blew it out of the water. So let me do something. Let me dive right in. I'm going to show you my device here. And this is very, very simple on how to set up. So grab your phone and believe, believe it or not, we are going to set this up at, at a future date on your watch. And I'll maybe even do an iPad and I'll kind of show you how the entire ecosystem uh, flows together, but it's so easy to start off on your phone. So go ahead and grab your phone and then go ahead and unlock it. And then you're going to tap on system settings, the gearbox. Now, I know that many of you on YouTube here, we call this YouTube University. You may be an iPhone expert or you might just be starting off. So I am going to take this from the approach that you're just starting off. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on that gearbox and you're going to kind of scroll down and you're going to see about halfway through the page in this uh, middle section here, you're going to see uh, notifications, sound and haptics, focus and screen time. You want to tap on focus. Now, by default, Apple has given us a few things to consider. Do not disturb, one for driving, one for personal. One that says reduce interruptions. This does require either an iPhone 15 or an iPhone 16, any of the iPhones that have the Apple intelligence built in. And then it even has a sleep mode. Now, let's just park here for a minute. I want you to think about this, these focus modes as 
tools, right? Let's, let's just keep it simple. You get up in the morning, uh, you get dressed to go to work, depending on where you work. Maybe you're a police officer, a firefighter, an engineer, you're, you're a business owner. You put on certain type of clothes, right? You put on tools, perhaps, or you have certain tools with you. And you go to work and you're using that set of tools or you're upholding that sense of, of um, presence, right? You have specific things around you. Then you leave, you come home, and the first thing you do when you walk in the door, you kick off the shoes, slide on your, your slippers, you change into your comfy t-shirt and shorts, and you've now changed into another set of tools, right? Or maybe you're headed to the gym and you're going to go work out. You're putting on your sneakers, you're putting on your gym shorts, you got your gym bag, your towel, your all these, your, your Apple Watch, all the things that are going to be appropriate for that setting. And in many ways, focus modes are just that. You're going to create, if you will, a uniform or a bag of tools that will help you accomplish that given task. So I'm going to keep it simple this round, and I am going to set up one for work. So if you look at the top right-hand corner, you see the little blue cross there. I'm going to go ahead and tap on the blue cross, and Apple gives you a very clean setup and it asks you what do you want to focus on again some pre pre-made ones here you can actually choose custom but for this example i'm going to choose work all the way at the bottom and i'm going to tap on that again apple is giving us here suggestions on what we're doing work focus when you're working on a project or your to-do list getting things done by silencing notifications and customizing your screens and apps. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on focus, uh, customize focus. And then here's the very first thing that we get to see. Well, we're going to start from the top to the bottom. A, we can edit this uh, icon. We can color it whatever you like. You can call it work. You can call it your specific line of work. Maybe there's an icon here that fits your particular uh, work or, or just your, your liking. And you can customize that. The next thing that you can customize is where it says intelligent breakthrough silencing. Now, I got to be honest, this is all brand new with Apple intelligence and it's, it's learning you on your device. And again, this is why I'm such a big Apple fan. A lot of this information is in your device. It's not going externally. So your, your data is very safe. Now, this is a new feature. I have it on on one of my focus modes. And basically, it's just allowing the Apple intelligence to kind of find your rhythm and it will let some notifications in, some notifications may not. Again, it is a, uh, it's, it's on a learning basis right now. So, you know, try it out if you wish. If this is your first focus mode, I'd probably tell you to hang back. Now, the next phase here says silence notifications. Now here we can choose if we want specific people to be notified from or not notified from, and we can choose applications. For this example, I'm going to go ahead and choose applications. Now, you may definitely want to start off with your people, but there's a reason why I say leave the people alone for just right now, especially if you're doing your very first focus mode. I'll, I'll give you some insight. When I first did one, I had a little bit of, um, you know, uh, anxiety, right? Th did I block out people that I shouldn't have blocked out? Like, what if they're trying to get a hold of me? What's going to happen? So for right now, take it easy. Don't block any notifications from anybody if you don't feel comfortable yet. But let's go right back to choosing the applications. Now, again, in this example, we're talking about work. So what are those applications that I use on a constant basis? Well, I really don't use Amazon. Um, my wife thinks I do, but I don't use Amazon typically at work. Um, I, I do use Find My. Sometimes I do leave my one of my devices laying around. Um, home. The Home app, you would think, well, why did you use a Home app at work? Well, I am a Home app smart home um, uh, aficionado, right? I don't even think I said that right. I, I, am a, I am so passionate about smart home. So my home is smart. We'll get there one day. We'll do a bunch of videos on that. And my work, my home, my, my office at work is also smart. I have a home pod over there and I have some automations. But again, for me, that will stay. Uh, Instagram, you know what? I, I don't use that for work. Um, I, I don't use any of these and YouTube Studios and Yelp. You know what? I, I, I want none of these notifications. Instead, I'm going to go ahead and tap on, on Plus, And I'm just going to look for some applications here. Evernote app. 
right? So th these are just some of the examples that, I, that I'm going to have. Now here, if you notice, if you kind of pinch to zoom in, maybe you're watching this on your phone um, or, or iPad, I can have these applications. I can also select Instagram, but I can say, you know what? I want to use the app because I do manage, maybe I manage the social media account for my job, but I don't want to be notified. So I can tap the little blue icon. Uh, maybe I do want to use Amazon, but I don't want to be notified about that. Anyhow, I can choose the applications that best serve me. Once I'm done, I'll go ahead and tap done in the top right hand corner. And we've taken a major step forward already in setting up our focus mode. We've identified potentially the people. We've identified the applications that I do definitely want to use and how and if I want to be notified by them. Now, if you look down at the bottom, you will see an iPhone. You'll see two iPhones and a Apple Watch. You can actually choose a desktop picture. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on the very first iPhone, one of these default uh, wall, wallpapers. Now you can actually go, you can go and set up a personalized wallpaper. Maybe it's a picture of your job or your office or your desk or something related. And you can actually customize that and pick. I'm going to pick this one because I love the drab olive green color. I'm going to tap on done. And now you'll see here in a couple of seconds that that screen will populate immediately to the right. I can, I can also choose an interior landing page. And here's where it gets interesting. It says choose a home page. And these are the current home page pages that I have on my device. Now follow me. I don't want to make this, I don't want to overcomplicate this. You can pick any of your default you know, when you when you have your iPhone and you're just kind of scrolling through through the windows, you can pick any one of those to be your designated desktop. You could go maybe while you're on, on break, you can customize one of those pages and line up all the applications that you want and choose that one. Or if you simply pick any of these, it says choose one of your pages or create a new page up on the on the top. So I'm going to go ahead and create just a new page. And these are some default apps. I can go ahead and tap on the bottom where it says edit apps. And again, I can go through my laundry, long laundry list of applications and pick and choose the one that I want to want to pick and, and, and use. I can go ahead and customize them there. I can maybe even add a widget. I can customize it however I want and I can hit add at the top right hand corner. And if you notice, there's even a page for an Apple Watch. I'm going to go ahead and hit choose. And again, same thing here. You can pick one of your default Apple Watch uh, faces or you can create a brand new one. I'm going to leave that one off because I definitely want to focus on focus mode on Apple Watch in a later video. Now, once you're done, I'm going to go ahead and, and go back to my phone here. I'm going to go ahead and, and fill you in on the rest of the options. If I scroll down at the bottom, I can create a schedule. I can predetermine the schedule. I can say, you know what? I know I'm going to be at work from 8.30 in the morning to 5.30 in the afternoon, Monday through Friday, or whatever schedule you work. You can even say, hey, activate this focus mode when I arrive at work, and you can tap on location, and you can put in the address of your job or of your office, and once you get there uh, within a, a, a reasonable range, that focus mode will automatically open. Or when you launch a specific application, maybe you have a custom application for your job that you only use once you get there. And that's kind of like an easy peasy lemon squeezy uh, way of just launching an app and then boom, you're in that focus mode. I personally like the time. For me, the time works. But even if you don't want to set a schedule, you don't have to. The smart activation, again, that'll start to learn your habits on when you're activating that focus mode and when you're not. It's almost like the Nest thermostat. If you have a Nest thermostat at home to control your, your AC, fun fact, the AC, the Nest thermostat company originated from a, a, one of the guys who worked on the original iPod, fun fact. But again, up to you, schedule, no schedule set an automation, set an, a specific app, or let the iPhone determine. Now, 
At the bottom, there is a couple of more features, one called focus filters. That is to take it to the next level. And this video is not about that. So I'm gonna refrain from diving in there, but focus filter just does that. It will add additional filters to your, well, to your focus. Now, once I'm, I'm pretty much done, I'm gonna go ahead and, and hit escape and, and I'm out of here. That like I've set this up. Now, how do I enable focus mode? There's a couple of different ways I can swipe down from my device, from my, my top of my screen, right into my control center, and I can tap on, as a matter of fact, I'm already on a sleep schedule here, I accidentally tapped it, I can set the work mode. And if you notice there, the screen change, now my desktop is physically different, and I can't lock my phone. If I lock my phone, uh, you guys will be, well, we can do it like this, if I lock my phone, you can now see that my screen went back to this green window, which is kind of cool. So now it's enabled the fact that I'm in this focus mode. And if you notice, I have only the applications that I spe that I was specific about. Well, Dan, what if I need to get, you know, I forgot to add this one specific app. What do I do? No, no worries. All you have to do is swipe over to the right and you have your whole library of applications. You can also customize your widgets. You can as well customize the location of all your different applications to make your work mode specific. Now, I, I, I don't wanna elongate this video because I just wanted to introduce you to focus mode. Why do I think focus mode is a game changer? It will definitely change the way that you use your devices. I only showed you on the iPhone, but let me tell you, this will sync across your Apple Watch, your iPad, even your Mac, if you're using a Mac as your main uh, device. It is incredible how we are often distracted by notifications, interruptions. We're constantly wasting time looking for that specific file, that specific application. You, I mean, you saw how many applications I have. It, it, it's overwhelming. If you organize yourself by focus mode, I guarantee you it will make you much more productive. It'll make your life even better. Again, work mode. You can do this for uh, working out, for your weekend, for family time, for movie, for date night, um, for if you're in school, for uh, while you're in class, while you're uh, taking some time off to just study. You can have unlimited amount, well I shouldn't say unlimited, there, there might be a limit, who knows, if you know if there is a limit, drop it down in the comments, and you'll, you'll stump me on that one. Um, but you have many, many modes that you can activate to make your life easier. I truly hope that you found this video very introduction, introductory, but I hope you found it um, knowledgeable. I hope you got something out of it. If you did, please do me the honor, give me a thumbs up. Let me know what's your favorite focus mode or how you use focus mode. Again, we're gonna um, continue to dive deep within focus mode across all of our devices and you're gonna absolutely love it. Again, thank you so much for tuning. If you're not subscribed, I know a couple of you are not subscribed. We just passed the 200, woo, woo, 200 of you. Thank you for the support, much, much appreciated. Until next time, peace.